My name is Harold Wolfgang Eberhardt. I'm the University of Michigan College of Engineering research glass blower, and I build all the toys for all the professors and the graduate students. My training started at the age of 14. My father asked me one day, what are you going to be when you grow up? And I said, I'm taking auto mechanics, carpentry. So he says, why don't you learn glass blowing? And I said, sure, Dad, when? He says, after you've done your homework and on weekends. I thought I was going to pass out because work was not in my vocabulary at the age of 18. But when he showed me money, then I became interested. It is not how long it takes to make something or how complicated it is. The question is, does it work? All glass going starts artistically or scientifically. Everything is being made from tubes. Everything takes its time and there are no shortcuts. You must follow a certain procedure. When I make something that is custom made, first of all, there's no faith whether it's going to work or not. Then I have to make the prototype. Will it work? Then adjustments are being made to make it work. And finally, it's successful and they say, Harold, it works, make more. This is a finger condenser and it has an internal piece with a tip on the bottom. So when there is a condensate coming down that the uh, student is interested in, he can either take it back into the flask and reboil it, or he can turn it in the other direction so that it runs this way. Here's a condenser that chills this product and here he takes the sample. This is all catalog items. Joints to allow two pieces of glass to come together. Precision ground, vacuum tight, water tight, as you can see. I'm going to heat this up over 2,000 degrees centigrade because that's the melting temperature of quartz. And look what happens. This glass is used for high temperature work for making uh, jet turbine blades, engines. And watch, I'm gonna put it into water. It's the only glass on this planet that can go from 2,000 degrees to freezing without shattering. And so therefore, here at the university, 40% of my work is quartz-based. So I'm using propane and oxygen to create a fire of approximately 1,200 degrees centigrade. And as you can see, I'm getting no heat transmission to my hand. I get more radiation from the fire against my face and my body. You see, I have to rotate constantly to counteract for gravity. Gravity is my third hand. It either works with me or it works against me. And in order to expand glass, I use my own breath. It's like blowing bubble gum. No big uh, blowing from the chest. Without glass uh, blowing uh, capabilities, the, the entire research community could be compromised. I mean, I'm a little wheel, but if you take the little wheel out of a watch, the big wheels don't rotate in order to make things happen. So when something is finished, the job satisfaction of having created something with your own hands cannot be measured.